Hey guys, welcome back to Monicro Custom Guitars. And this is my last episode about the LED um, fretboard. As you can see, the guitar is almost done, only strings remaining. And for the people who ask me for the final results, Look at that. Isn't that nice? Now, this is not the final configurations for the LEDs. Now, when I say configuration, is just because that this guitar will, featured, will be featuring five different configurations. And the five different configurations of LEDs will be kind of decided on which configuration of pickups you are. Let me explain that briefly. On this guitar, I have the Seymour Duncan Little 59 on the neck, which is a single coil size humbucker. And I have the, the Super Distortion at the bridge. And the switch, I'm using a five-way super switch. Now, I'm using the super switch because it has four individual poles. I'm using one pole for the neck pickup, I'm using the other pole for the bridge pickup, and I'm using another pole for the grounding to split the coils, and the other pole I'm using it to send uh, data to the Arduino in regarding the position of the switch. And as you can see, the switch is in the middle position, and for now, in the middle position, I have this kind of fade in, fade out, uh, kind of a rainbow color. If I go to the first position, you can see the color change to a light green. In the second position, it's a blue color. Middle is the rainbow color. Um, fourth position is the kind of a purple color. And the last one, it's the pink color and this is this kind of a default scheme for now but um, later we'll be adding different color schemes even different um, movement of the LEDs uh, but that's something we're, we're working on it functionality wise we're still working on some issues because we're having some feedback with the LEDs and the pickups so we're working on that to solve that issue. And when we solve that issue, you just need to put some strings on and ready for the photo shoot. Now, today's episode, I wanted to talk to you about how I did <coughs> the connection between the neck and the body. If you've seen some guitars with LEDs in the neck, uh, most of them has wires running through the neck um, to the body in a kind of a single piece. And that is one thing that I didn't want in this build. I wanted to be able to remove the neck without cutting any wires or even removing the pick guard to disconnect any wires. So I think I managed to find a good solution and quite an easy one. So let me sort out different angle. I remove the neck and I show you what I did. So this is the neck. Just a small note. I want to say that the fretboard I glued it on the neck with epoxy rather than wood glue. And the neck is finished as well with the chameleon pigments. And it came out really nice. Now, regarding the electrical connection, as you can see, there's, there are no wires hanging from the neck. And if you remember correctly, in the last episode, there were three wires, three pieces of copper wires 
protruding from the fretboard and those wires I told you that will go through the neck blank and those wires are these three dots here. As I said, those wires went through the neck blank and here I have three little brass dots around five millimeter and then I just bend the copper wire on those dots and solder them um, together. And those are kind of the connection points of the, of the neck side. Now, regarding the body and the neck joint, now here I have the body and as you can see in the, ne in the neck joint I have three little springs and with these springs I have three wires soldered to the springs and they go through this little hole in the cavity. Now these springs will do the connection with those dots in the neck blank. And that is what connects the LEDs from the neck part to the circuit of in the guitar body. And like this, it's very convenient to remove the neck for um, work done, for any kind of work. And I don't have to remove um, the pig guard to cut cut wires or remove connections and like that it's much easier. In the intro you saw me putting a jack and turn everything on. In fact I have a stereo jack here which is connected as a switch to turn on the Arduino. At the back here I have the battery pack and the Arduino and this little hole here there are indication light on how much charge the power bank has. Now we can easily put the neck back in and test if everything works correctly. If you follow me from some time, you know that I like to use metric six Allen bolts for my neck joint instead of wooden screws. Now, let's just put the jack and see if the connection is still okay. There you have it. And that is the easiest way, in my opinion, for this kind of connection. Okay guys, so that's it for today. I hope you liked it, enjoyed it, and there's something from it. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section down below. 
I'll do my best to answer them for you. If you like this episode, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. This will help greatly the channel. If you want to support this channel, down in the description you'll find some useful links. And if you're new to this channel and you're enjoying what you see, please I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll be aware about my future releases. I'll do guitar building and CNC related content. And to the new subscribers and to the old ones, take care and goodbye.